Hey everyone, so today I figured we would do another kind of chill video where we could do something fun together. And I was kind of thinking about, all right, well, what do I need to do? I mean, I've got a long list of things I've been avoiding. What's something on that list that we could do today? And uh, I decided today is the day that I want to be thoroughly embarrassed uh, and uh, we're gonna clean out my refrigerator is what we're gonna do today. So the reason why this is embarrassing is, well, my refrigerator, let's face it, is usually probably embarrassing. Like I haven't gone through any of my condiments in who knows how long, like maybe years, I don't know. And maybe it's, maybe I went through it during the winter or maybe last spring or, <laughs> I don't know, it's been a really long time since I went through all the condiments and did that whole deal. So who knows what kind of gems we're gonna find there. So normally, every single week before I go grocery shopping and make my list and do my whole thing, this is before, this isn't right now. This is when I was going every single week. Uh, I would, you know, kind of clean everything out, wipe down the shelves. I wouldn't go through all the condiments and do a deep clean. No, I wouldn't do any of that. Um, now that this has been quarantine life, and I only have been going to the grocery store once every three weeks, I feel like my routine is totally thrown off, and I don't go through my refrigerator before I go to the grocery store, because I already know there's like no produce left. But what ends up left in there, and I don't go through it, basically a bunch of leftover, random leftovers. They're not like full, plates of food. These are like little remnants of things or something that my husband and I didn't really like so we just never revisited it. <laughs> we just left it in there. Like things like that. Um, I'm dreading this because I have not cleaned out my fridge the entire time that other than you know just like seeing little things and kind of tossing it or whatever. Um, I haven't gone through my fridge since this all started two months ago, but I think it's been a, probably about three months we're approaching. There may or may not be moldy noodles or dip or, I don't know, maybe a piece of salmon that I didn't like so I left in there and tried to pretend it wasn't in there, okay? Maybe a brown bag of salad, not a whole bag, just a little bit at the bottom. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. Although Neens is in such a good spot right now, she's not gonna be happy at all that I'm about to get her up. All right, I got my comfy clothes on, so I'm ready to clean. I might grab, I don't know, is it happy hour? What is it, six o'clock? I might grab an adult beverage and we can hang out and do this together. The, okay, so the hardest part isn't gonna be emptying the fridge. It's gonna be washing out the food. That's like the worst part. Wash out the the Tupperware that the food was in and it smells and I'm gonna have to do this though because I'm going to the grocery store this week and it's like I can't go another week with these like I need Tupperware first of all all of my Tupperware is currently in use with something rotting in it in my fridge from three months and some of you might be like girl how can you go that long that is crazy okay but if you're telling me that the time hasn't been flying during this quarantine, I feel like we're living, we must be living on another planet. Actually, I feel like it's going one of two ways, so I've heard. Some people say it is turtling, like going at a snail's pace, and some people are saying it's flying by. I'm the flying by person. I feel like I just went into quarantine or stay at home yesterday. So I guess let's just dive right in because I'm currently procrastinating by sitting here and talking to you. So let's go to the fridge. All right, side note, anyone else's neighbors mowing like 30 times a day? Like my neighbors already love to mow. It's like apparently their favorite thing to do. But lately, it's like, and I know it's spring and stuff, but no, we're talking like, I don't know if it's just quarantine or what, but we're talking like several times a day sometimes. I'm like, how are you out there mowing that much? And it's not like we have big yards. Our yards are tiny. <clears throat> So I don't know. Okay, anyways, we're at the refrigerator, first of all. Well, okay, first of all, I have a bunch of these holiday tins that need to be put away or plastic bins for um, for cookies and stuff, for holiday cookies. They're still on my refrigerator, so Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so this is my refrigerator. I've thought about doing a fridge tour and review uh, if you wanna see a review on the Samsung Family Hub Smart Fridge. 
So my husband and I got this one. I don't even think this is the latest model. We got this one a couple of years ago and um, we love it. Um, but if you wanna see a review and tour of my refrigerator, once I get food in it, let me know and we can totally do that. I have a lot to say about this refrigerator. I really love it. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go through my fridge. But right now we're looking at a whole lot of, I have no idea what any of this is. Um, so it looks like a full refrigerator, but it is definitely not full of anything that is edible, I don't think. And lots and lots and lots and lots of condiments, basically. So um, look at condiments here, condiments there, all on the top shelf. Um, so we're gonna go through all this and we're gonna wipe it down and I definitely see Tupperware in there with things that are Probably scary. Oh, is that a soup that I made in January? <laughs> probably and it's not gonna be embarrassing at all. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do it We're looking at several months since I've really done this. So here we go. We're, we're being truthful. We're facing We're facing the shame. All right. What do we got? Let's maybe take out the stuff. I don't know, let's just start on the bottom shelf. Let's just do it that way. So I have this flax meal, I know that's good. I just used it today. Earth Balance Butter, that's good. I've got literally morsels of cheese, but I think it's enough to consolidate. Cause look, I have another one here, shredded cheese with morsels in it so I can combine them and do a pepper jack style cheese. Okay, whatever. Okay, these lemons, I just got these a couple weeks ago. They're, they still look good. They're not moldy or have any patches or anything yet. So I'm gonna keep those. I got these bouillons, better than bouillon. This one is September 2020. This one is November 2021. So we're good here. All right, we got this hummus, which this caramelized onion hummus. This is May 7th, 2020. There's still some in there. Not a whole lot, but um, this stuff was so good, but so specific that I feel like we got tired of it really quick because the we kind of got tired of the taste. I feel bad about that, but life goes on. All right, I have no idea what the hell. <gasps> it looks like cat food. I don't know what this is. I think it might be that bean dip from the enchiladas, but I just made enchiladas the other day. But I think, I'm pretty sure this entire collection is extremely old, like really, really old. And I think I was like, oh, this is the stuff I need to throw away during trash week, because this is all the stuff, like this is all gross and bad. Um, and it's still been here like months later and I'm sure it smells ripe. These are onions. This is gonna smell horrible. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I hope you guys didn't just have dinner. All right, this is a dip. So it shouldn't be that, I think, or a sauce of some sort that I used that's extremely old, but doesn't seem to be molding or anything. So we're in good shape there. This is a broccoli cheddar soup. I don't know why this didn't get eaten. I Did I forget about you? I don't know, but this is so old, like January, February maybe. Oh no. This is gonna be the worst smelling kitchen. Oh, uh, This is a ranch dip which we have another one right there, but this one is extremely old. Oh no, black beans. I don't even know how old it is, but I'm sure it smells terrible. I'm not looking forward to my near future. This, oh, light went off. How do I turn it back on? Okay, this, whatever this is, I think this was a soup with a hair on the bottom. <laughs> it was a soup and we got through a lot of it. You can see there's not much left. Maybe a half of a cup left of that. Um, I think we just got tired of it and that's what happened, but I don't even know how old that is. So we're going to put that there. A La Croix, and I don't even know how long this, like, I don't even know how old this is. Uh, a lime La Croix. This is 10 to 2018. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. What's in here? Nacho. I just got these. So I'm gonna put them over here in the condiments area for later. 
This is new. We're going to deal with these later. Okay. I feel like that's counterproductive, but that's okay. These carrots... I don't feel like they're that old. I think they're from the store, like, not last time, but the time before that. So they're a little slimy, but they shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Okay, this is more ranch dip. Okay, we're at the next shelf. I just made these peas the other day, so these are fine. All right, so this is veggies and... Uh, what's this? More ranch dip. This ranch dip's still good, though. This, though, I'm pretty sure this needs to go, because I got these two weeks ago, three, almost three weeks ago. There's not much left, honestly. Right, we got an avocado that I think is still good. Feels fine. I'm gonna leave that. I'm impressed by that. Although it was really green. Uh, vegan mayo, this is good. I just... This garlic should be good. This piece of salmon, you guys. Okay, I normally do not waste fish if I eat it, but I tried the frozen salmon from Aldi and it was not, it wasn't good. And I don't even like to think that I'm that picky, but it was pretty fishy. I just hope that doesn't smell like I think it's gonna smell like, like a rotten, you know. So this is those noodles I was talking about. These, I made some butter noodles where it's like not enough for a meal but I never came back to it as a snack, so sorry about your butter noodles. All right, these are new. Brownie batter, dessert, uh, hummus, and the carrot cake. Dessert hummus, this is May 27th. All right, and then this is rice. I do not know how old this is. Oh, this is from when we made those, what were those? Those uh, sushi stacks, and I ran out of all the ingredients except for the rice. It never finished the rice, so that's unfortunate. All right, next shelf. Oh, first of all, I've got soy sauce. These are good. They're all good. Okay, what's this? Oh, we got some clementine still in here. What do we got? We got some Gatorade. I just opened this today. And what is this? Oh, cream cheese. Just got this. What else? Oh, we're getting into the sauces. Oh, wait, let's get this. So I tried this when I mentioned it to you guys in my Aldi haul, and I thought it was way too sweet for me. Maybe I just needed to use less of it, but, and then it kind of warmed up, so I just wasn't in the mood. So there's about, I mean, I drank quite a bit of it. There's not a whole lot left, but eh, it just was a little sweet for me. All right. Dumb. This is the saddest bag of salad I've ever seen in my whole life. I ate this whole bag of salad, but then once again, we ran into the problem where it wasn't enough for a meal, just enough for a snack and Ghoul could not bring herself to eat that and now it's pink and brown and wilted and looks so sad. Ugh, the shame of it all. all right, what else? We got a bunch of onions. I keep my onions in the fridge. I know a lot of people get so mad at that, but it keeps my eyes from watering when I cut them up. So I like keeping them in the fridge. I, these are not that old. They still look pretty good. They stay pretty fresh in the fridge. I'm just gonna clean out the this area because look how disgusting, like what the heck? Just all of the flakes and a random sack floating around. All right, we're gonna clean this out. What else we got? We got, uh, we have a ranch. Some olives, and who knows how old these are. Ew, there's mold in it. And it's almost a full thing. That makes me so sad. What's in here? Sushi sauce, my husband's favorite. Uh, Olive Garden Italian sauce, yum. Oh, I was looking for this. Dang it. I was making these uh, banana muffins, and I didn't think I had any of this left. Molasses, this is fine. I think this is just a thing. Basically a pickle juice with like one gnarly looking. Oh, that does not look good at all. No, it looks like a rat. Just a lonely pickle. Okay, uh, all right, so this was when? Oh, February 21st, 2022. So apparently that pickle is still good. Should we eat it? Oh wait, there's a half of a pickle too. I feel like I gotta draw the line somewhere and I'm drawing it with that lonely pickle. Clausen pickles, my favorite, and I didn't eat these? Did I know they were in here? Wait, what's the date on this? Can I still eat these? That's the real question. No date. Not gonna risk it. This has been too long, I think. What's next? All right, we're going in on the condiments. What is this? 
maple syrup. This is still good. I just used this. I guess that was Thanksgiving. 7 11 22. Yeah, it's still good. This organic vegan Worcestershire sauce. Worcester. Worcestershire sauce. I can never say it right. Uh, what is this? Oh, what does it say? I don't even. I feel like if you can't read the date because it's worn off, that probably is not a good sign. Got some duck sauce. What is this? Oh, the St. Elmo's. Okay, I have to put this in the back because you cannot leave this stuff. This St. Elmo's shrimp cocktail sauce. You cannot leave it out. This is not that old, by the way. You cannot leave it out in warm areas. Um, you have to keep it cool at all times or it gets so hot. It's already really hot, but it gets just too hot. Okay. Sliced jalapenos, but there's literally nothing but seeds left. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Mild Taco Bell sauce. I need to get some hot sauce, by the way. That's fairly new. Annie's Naturals barbecue sauce. What are we looking at? April 28th, 2018. <laughs> well, we got this Tabasco green pepper sauce. This is so old. Like, Best by June 2015 old. Wow. Sweet and hot mustard. Oh, it was so good. What are we at? Yeah, October 18th, 2018. What's this? These are really old sauces. Gluten-free hoisin sauce. Oh, this is old. Yep. 8 to 18. Yep. Dill relish. That's still good. And this apple cider vinegar is still good. All right, sriracha chili ketchup. What's this? January 30th, 2019. Damn. I feel like that's not right. I feel like it could be good for longer than that. Oh, this is my life. All right, almond chocolate milk. That's still good. I just got that. Got this original almond milk. This is still good. Uh, pimento. Stuffed olives with absolutely nothing, but we saved the juice for martinis, but we never ended up using it. More jalapeno slices. Oh, these were the new ones that I put over here. Garlic stuffed olives. Oh, I did an olive tray in January. Does it stay that good? But, I mean, I guess it is vinegar or whatever I preserved in. Okay, and here I have random stuff that I could squeeze in there. Dijon mustard. September 30th, 2020, we're still good there. Re more relish. More dill pickle relish, because I do not F around with sweet pickles, let me just say. The biggest disappointment in my life is biting into one of those little baby pickles and thinking it's dill and it's sweet. <laughs> okay, wait, this is April 2020. All right, what's this? Oh, capers, keeping those, those are new-ish. Oh, this is all the stuff that I already put up here that I had moved, that I knew. Oh, more Dijon mustard? This one's almost empty. This is Best Buy October 2019. Well, good thing you're gone. Jalapeno mustard, and then whatever these, oh, these are from Purple Carrot like 500 years ago. Also, I have this deli drawer in my refrigerator, or on my refrigerator, in, around my refrigerator, that uh, I keep like cheese and stuff in. Ooh, and this, and it has like this divider where you can move things around. And it can also be a wine fridge. It can be a bunch of things, but I use it for like cheese and sour cream and stuff like that. We have these cheeses in here, August 8th, 2020. This is fairly new, this is fairly new. What's this, miso? I have been using this recently, but I know it's really old and I probably shouldn't. What's the date on this? It's almost gone, yep. August 2019, and I've definitely been using <laughs> Well, I guess it didn't kill me. All right, this hummus that's literally gone is dried out and cracked because it's literally that old. All right, I don't know what's in here, but there's a lot of sliminess. Ew, 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 ew. I don't think I can look at that. All right, what do we got in here? I think this is just a dip. Yeah, it's like another ranch type of dip. I think this was like a caper lemon dip. But what is in here? Is this more lost? Mushrooms, please don't. Ugh, it is apparently having one petrified, slimy thing of mushrooms was not enough. And so I push them back in the corners where they can't be found or easily forgot about. So then I literally come across them months later 
And then I learned my lesson, or I think I learned my lesson every time I have to wash the dishes or the Tupperware they're in, and I literally almost pass out. And then I'm like, I'm never doing that again. And here we are. The <laughs> It's a cycle. So I guess we're gonna start wiping this down and then put everything back. All right, so I take out these shelves, the shelves in the door. I'm just going to pop them out. I think it's not, yeah. What the heck? Come on, there we go. And I'm just gonna wash these out in the sink uh, because it's easier to clean them out, I find. Just finished kind of rinsing off and wiping down those drawers and they actually weren't really that bad in the instance i get sticky stuff in it or stuff that's really difficult to get off i will usually just fill up my sink with warm soapy water and just soak them for a little while and then i will rinse them off and then wipe them down and everything but they really didn't need it they just needed a quick rinse off and uh, just they had like a couple of little pieces of like cheese or something at the bottom or little crumbs of something So now I'm gonna work on Spraying down the shelf. We're gonna work on the rest of the fridge. That's what we're gonna do All right So when cleaning the inside of my fridge the first thing I do is spray it down and I get in all the nooks and crannies with a Toothbrush so it's not my toothbrush that I use every single day and night. This is not that toothbrush This is a separate toothbrush. I use for cleaning and scrubbing. You can also use a toothpick What else have I used like a little kebab things anything that's sharp and pointy or a little brush that can get in nooks and crannies Somehow little crumbs get under there or little I don't know leaves. I don't know <laughs> little onion crusties whatever it is gets underneath in those little crevices so i was cleaning those out also for spray you're going to see me using a couple different sprays because i apparently forgot how i clean out the inside of my refrigerator that's how long it's been so i did use some of the mrs meyers lilac scent which has been my favorite thing ever right now um but normally and you'll see the majority of this refrigerator i'll use a it just looks like a a method bottle with clear liquid inside it's an old method bottle that i'm recycling and i fill it about a third of the way with vinegar and the rest with water so it's a vinegar and water mixture i love the way vinegar and water cleans glass and anywhere especially like in the drawers or any of the shelves where produce is going to be sitting directly on a shelf or in the bin or drawer or whatever uh, just because it's just a little bit more natural it doesn't have soaps or anything but anywhere that has anything spilled or has has mold or anything I didn't have anything like that happening in here I'm um, just in containers I did um, but anything like that I will soak it in my sink if I can or I will use something that's a little bit more like I'll sanitize it um, and use something that has a little bit more soap or has you know like a Clorox wipe or something like that that's a little bit more intense um, but yeah otherwise I just use vinegar and water okay also, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I always work from top to bottom. So that way, if crumbs fall, they fall down and I don't have to return, you know, back to a shelf if some crumbs fell and whatnot. Here I am taking my drawers out and my produce drawers and I am kind of, I didn't have to soak them. There wasn't a lot stuck at the bottom of this. So I just put some dish soap and some warm water and cleaned it all out and then and scrubbed it a little bit and then dried it off and then did the other bin as well. Uh, it was much easier just to pull these and wash them off because it would have taken forever to try to like, you know, scoop all of the little particles out of it. So it was just easier this way. Also, while I had those drawers out, I went in with my Dyson vacuum. When I say love this thing, I'm not even joking. I use it for everything. And I went in and I vacuumed up all the little crumbs in that were sitting at the bottom. It was just easier to do it that way and sprayed it down and then went in and wiped everything down once again. And just while I was in here, I figured I would get into all these little Little, you know, I think I've said nooks and crannies like 3,000 times, but I mean it. Also got into this little area. This is where you pull the drawer open. I made sure to vacuum in there and wipe it down. Also got the doors while I had the bins off of the doors or the little shelves off the doors. 
And I didn't notice looking at it that there was like a weird discoloration there. I probably would have taken my magic eraser to it if I could go back in time, but I didn't really see that. It wasn't that obvious. Just on camera, I could see a little bit of a discoloration there. So anyways, putting the shelves back on now. Also giving the other refrigerator door, the other side, a good wipe down and drying it off and putting the shelves back in this area as well. And I had taken them and put them in the sink and scrubbed them and did the same thing that I did with the shelves on the other side. So just putting those back here. All right, so then I start putting things back into the shelves on the door and I didn't really know what I wanted to do quite yet. So I just started putting things in different places and categorizing them and then uh, came up with whatever I could. I have quite a few condiments still, so um, I try to categorize them as best I could. You'll see here at the end what I did, uh, but yeah, just trying to figure out what exactly I'm trying to do here. Uh, and then just putting things back on the shelves. I really didn't end up with a lot in here, which is kind of weird because I had so much in the beginning, but it was just a lot of leftovers basically on uh, containers of disgusting food. So yeah, just finishing up the final touches here. Oh wait, no, I had to do the drawer. Totally forgot about this. Went through with my Dyson handheld once again and vacuumed up a bunch of dry ass shredded cheese <laughs> off the bottom of this. And yeah, did that and then wiped it down. And there was a lot of something at the bottom of this. Honestly, I should have taken this thing out and put it in the sink to soak because there was some crusty something on the bottom of this that I had to take a toothbrush to and it took a little while to get it off. So I actually didn't know this drawer could come out until I was basically done scrubbing it. So you learn something new every day. Anyways, finally got it done and it looked nice and fancy. So I started putting all the things back, all my little deli stuff, which I didn't have a lot left. And that was kind of that. All right, everyone, I just finished. It is now officially dark out. Oh, like eight o'clock. So it took me a full two hours to do it. To be fair, I took everything out, like all the drawers and I did have to film it. So that does usually take me a lot longer, but it looks so much better. And okay, so here's the door. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this area yet. But the idea I had was like this stuff here goes on top of things. This area here, these are all sauces and things like that are things to add to sauces. Then drinks, which we have a whole drink fridge outside. So like, or out in the garage, not outside, but in the garage. So just the ones we keep in here. And then this area here, I put like, this is kind of my cooking stuff, like seasonings and stuff that have to be refrigerated. So bouillon and some uh, minced garlic. And then down here is just kind of miscellaneous. Some uh, sauces, like a sauce that didn't fit over on the other side. Some salad dressing and then some mayo. And this here is the biggest change of all. Oh my gosh, so dramatic. Uh, I can't believe this is the same refrigerator, if we're being honest. So I'm definitely ready for groceries. I realize now more than ever. Before, it was so packed in here that it didn't really look like I needed groceries, but this is the reality of what I had left. It's all nice and clean in here, and it just feels so good to have it done. Feeling good about this. I have some dessert hummus I can eat right now, and some peas, <laughs> that's my dinner. No, I have some canned stuff and some frozen stuff I'm gonna make for dinner until I can get to the store, but I'm so happy. Ooh, this lighting, no girl, no. All right, here's the drawer so happy about it nice and clean and i realized that you could actually take this out this whole drawer which i totally didn't do oh. anyway i just feel so much better that that's done but now i have to go through and clean out all this tupperware and it's gonna smell so bad and i just so i would totally film it so you can see my facial expressions but i had this idea because this is the quarantine life that we're living now and things like this come to mind. I was like, oh, I'll just wear my face mask and do this <laughs> so I can't smell it. And that is my, that's my plan. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on a face mask and I'm going to do this. Hope you guys enjoyed cleaning out my refrigerator with me. I am so excited to get some groceries and get my refrigerator looking nice and organized because clearly it had been months since I had fully cleaned it out. I feel so much better. 
So hopefully I can get back into a routine here soon, or maybe I need to set an alarm on my phone because I'm not having a natural routine with cleaning my refrigerator anymore now that I'm not going out every week and I don't see that happening and anytime soon. Even as things in Kansas and Missouri are opening up this coming week, I really don't see it. Um, yeah, I just don't think I'm gonna be going, trying to go to the store still every week. I'm gonna try to do what I've been doing. So I just need to come up with a new way to go about it. Maybe every single week, check on, still check on my, you know, wipe everything down and check on my leftovers to make sure I'm eating them and not wasting anything. And that's kind of what my plan is moving forward. That way, yeah, I'm not trying to waste anything. That seems to be what works out for me is when I set a day to do something, which for me, for a long time, it was Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I would go to the grocery store and get my groceries for the week. And then, so Mondays, I would clean out my fridge, wipe it down and write my list and do the whole thing. And now I just feel like I'm way off. And just, I don't know if anyone else out there is feeling like your schedules are just off you just are not feeling motivated so so thank you once again for coming through and holding me accountable you guys always help motivate me i'm always like if i really want to do something i should just film it because it always motivates me to do it and so i hope i motivate you to do it because it it felt really good it felt good so anyways thanks for cleaning my refrigerator with me if you want to see some other refrigerator videos let me know down in the comments and anyways hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up say hey ghoul hey down in the comments because you know i love talking to you also let me know in the comments what you guys have been doing, like what, what's helped you stay in your routine uh, as the weeks have kind of gone on because I'm still just, I'm like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. And then I'm just completely thrown off the next week and it's a whole roller coaster ride. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.